Hey guys, welcome to Cameras and Cuts. Today we are in St. Augustine, Florida, and it's my birthday and it's Valentine's Day, and we're here for a couple days. I decided to bring the Lomo Apparat with me, which I just got in the mail from Lomography. I was actually one of the winners for the 2021 Lomography Awards for the Human Stories portion of the competition, and this was my prize, the Lomo Apparat. So it's a 35 millimeter wide angle camera, and I'm super excited to test it out, so stay tuned. Your doggy says, I want a doggy dog. Cool. Hey, welcome in. Hi, how are you? What a bother yourself. Good, thank you. Oh, there you go, the baby donuts. All right, so first we're gonna unbox, which I have not opened this yet, so I don't know what it looks like, but the picture looks pretty cool. So let's check it out. I love Lomography's packaging because they're so colorful and fun. It just makes you excited to take pictures. And look, there's a kitty cat on there. Oh my gosh, look how cute. I like that double exposure. There's a book. These are always so cool. What's this? Tiny bag for something. I don't know what. I didn't realize there was so much crap in there. Yeah, Lomography always has good boxings. Online manual situation. Look how cute. It's actually smaller than I thought, which I like. I like small cameras. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's really small. lightweight it feels very smooth but it is plastic it's definitely kind of like cheap but like that's fine I'd rather than be lightweight and easy to carry around oh this feels pretty cool this chain here this little chain is like it's like super weird feeling like um like a noodle is it stretchy no but it's like feel it Oh, it's like made out of, it's made out of uh, metal, and it's, but it's flexible. Yeah, so this is the little strap, which I will connect it later. And then it comes with a splitzer, a close-up lens, and a kaleidoscope lens. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, the kaleidoscope lens. I love using stuff like that, like just to make my photos weirder and more interesting. Splitzer. So you can do like double exposures and stuff. Basically like whatever little section is open is what is exposed. So then for your double exposure, you can like move it to the other side and stuff. Weird. And this is the lens cap here. Push it in order. There you go. Lens cap. Well, this is a cool camera. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah. This one's cool. The kaleidoscope lens. Definitely excited to use that for sure. This is the close-up lens. Oops. Which I don't usually end up using these. I'm not like a close-up person. So now I'm going to load the film. So you open it right here on the side. It pops open. You're not supposed to load in direct sunlight, but I do it anyway. And it's fine because I like light leaks. And you can put a battery in here, but I don't have one with me. So we're just gonna shoot a roll without a flash. You just slip it in there, it pops in. So then you slide it here, push it all the way over where that little yellow arrow is. So you just have to make sure it gets caught on the little film leader. It's 
kind of being annoying, honestly. It's like caught, but it's not... It goes backwards or something. I think it's going. It's just like kind of junky. <laughs> it just took a second to get it going. Okay, so here's the film counter up here. And I switched it. I switched it to the in setting, which is just normal. There's also a bulb setting, and this just turns turns everything off. So right now I have it in the normal setting, and I'm just winding the film. So I just take a couple like test shots until it gets to the one on the counter. Okay, so now we're gonna go out and we're gonna take some photos. So let's go. Figured out the double exposure. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, let's go. It's like we're in Italy again. What do you want? Picture with this little purple building. Find the slots. Yeah, the might munch on these slots if they're not careful.
favorite thing to do. Which one? I need to know. This is the vibe. Garbage. Go get it. This is a hectic video. This is definitely trickier than I thought. Alright, whatever. That was annoying. I'll have to figure that out for what next time. Alright, so now we're gonna go out and we're gonna. This is ugly. Just my alfalfa sprout out for that one. And also you have about four hours of footage now of you taking pictures in this one location. I don't know, this seems to 